All right, Ron Villanueva pleading guilty to federal charges of trying to defraud the government. Reporter Janu Her spoke with Villanueva's attorney about the case. After originally pleading not guilty to all charges, former Virginia Beach delegate Ron Villanueva pleaded guilty to one count of conspiracy to defraud the United States. He said in a written statement he did this for the best interest of him and his family. Pleading guilty to just one of the four criminal charges he's facing, Ron Villanueva owned up to his role in a scheme of conspiracy to defraud the United States. It's a crime he said in a written statement he accepts, quote, full responsibility for. That's it. Extraordinary sad day. His attorney Tom Bondurant had that to say after entering the plea, saying Villanueva is a prominent figure in the Hampton Roads community who has a long history of public service. But court documents say Villanueva and two others, one who he identifies as his brother in law, deceived the Small Business Administration using two companies, SEK Solutions and Carta Systems. They're accused of lying to secure government contracts for the companies. Those contracts are meant for minority and women owned businesses, but brought Villanueva more than a million dollars. Ron got involved in the business. Uh, it got in a gray area, and the gray area became criminal violations. So he found himself caught up in this, and he's accepting responsibility for what he did and he hopes to move forward with his life. For the conspiracy charge alone, the judge says Villanueva could face up to five years in prison when he's sentenced. The courts say these sentences are typically less than the maximum. As for the other three charges, Bondurant says they'll be dismissed. In his written statement, Villanueva said, quote, I ask for forgiveness from the United States government and its citizens, and I will work every day for the rest of my life to adhere to God's higher standard in obeying the laws of the United States. The sentencing date is set for July 2nd right here at the Norfolk Federal Courthouse. In Norfolk, Chinuhar, 13 News Now.